Hello and welcome back to Promise Gaming and EU4 Common Sense Scotland. Okay. We're at war with England yet again, as is to probably be expected. Oxfordshire has come under my occupation. Uh, looks like I missed something up here in Lancashire. I'm, I'm gonna rename that province as soon as I get it, because I'm tired of trying to dodge around calling that what it's supposed to be called. I get confused. I don't like it. Let's go ahead and mothball this fleet, because once again, I don't think I'll need it. Trade crisis. Ooh, minus 25%. Well, it's only for a year, though. Or lose diplo power and take a little less trade efficiency. Ooh. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll put up with it for a year and not worry about uh, losing the diplo points at this point. There's Lancashire. Looks like France is doing me the grand favor of sieging down Cornwall for me, which is just lovely of them. And in the meantime, I really w Well, France, you're in Burgundy. Why don't you just go kill Calais? Kalu Calais! Oh, fraptuous day, kill the English. You should do that. Do that, do that. I G G Y, yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Um, hmm. Do you have military access through... Gosh dang it. Every time. Every time. I just want these to stay open. Do you have... You are granting military access. Mm, you're warning Burgundy. Luxembourg and Bar. Doesn't say you're giving military access to anyone. Or you're taking it from anyone. Hmm. Which basically tells me that you probably have no intention of actually going and killing Brabant for me. Which actually makes me a little bit miffed at you, England. Or France. Leaving your troops here on Cornwall, sure. But by God, you're not going to be any help at all when it comes to uh, actually taking on Calais or Brabant or Friesland. Are you? Nope. Fine. We'll have to do this the hard way. Where's our transports? They are. Let's bring them down to Kent. Oops, unmothball. I'm gonna have to do this all myself. I'm gonna actually do something to these guys. If France won't help, well, screw them. But I'm actually gonna go and take on Brabant, I think. And maybe, just maybe, France will actually get involved once I have some sort of military access. Flanders, are you done? You are. And it doesn't look like you actually lost anything. How fun for you. All right. All right. Uh, Gloucester, sure. That's your capital down England. Well, wait a minute. Corn... France, turn Cornwall over to me. Oh, crap. They have a claim? You put a claim on Cornwall? France, you cheeky little bugger. How dare you? This is my island. I'll be damned if I'm gonna give you that thing. Heck no. Fine. Alright. Well, we know what we're not doing for poor France. You're not having Cornwall. I'm not giving you any of my territory. I can promise you that much. Let's go ahead and uh, park our army in Kent. We'll start ferrying them over the English Channel into Co. You have uh, military access. I need military access from you, France. Thank you. And then we will go and take on Calais slash Brabant slash whatever the heck else we feel like. Let's get these guys transported. Shouldn't take too long, fortunately. That's the wonderful thing about the English Channel. It's just one sea tile. Boop, 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 done. Uh, we have a tech option. Ooh. Hmm, do I take more technologic? How much is this gonna cost? 600? Well, it doesn't tell me what the actual cost is. No, wait, there it is, 562. I don't, that wouldn't leave me with very many points left. Uh, I could take Caravan Power and bump up um, to get another merchant, but I don't think I actually have much use for another merchant quite yet, because I don't have any access to trade nodes that are going to be very relevant. So I actually will take the next level of Diplotech. There we go. Leaves a few points left, but uh, I think we'll still be able to annex Kanat in time. Oh, looks like France finally got their act together. They're sieging down Calais for me. Excellent. So I won't worry about that. I'll let you handle that one, France. You've got your uh, beautiful two-siege leader right there. What is Brabant just left? All right, so now is the time to strike. As soon as I get my army together, I will do exactly that. Are you in another war? Friesland appears to be. Who are you fighting? Oldenburg. Oldenburgian conquest of Stade. Stade? I don't know. How do you pronounce it? 
Looks like Brabant might actually be involved in this one as well, are you? You are? Okay. So whatever's going on up here is another wonderful war that uh, I get to deal with. Looks like Oldenburg... Did Oldenburg actually attack someone again? Yes, they did. Oldenburg attacked Verden. Oldenburg is getting way too big for their britches. They took over half of Denmark and all of a sudden they think they're invincible and they can just go on take everybody. Fools! Well, I'll let you get stomped by Brabant. I care little for your your troubles, but I will get my army together. And you know what? Flanders could really use uh, some military access, please. Thank you. Let's go and take on Brabant. Oh, look. You're already you're already morally damaged and you're dead. That's how simple it was. Uh, can I detach a siege and get to Breda? I certainly can. So we'll do exactly that. Detach a siege. Um, hey Utrecht. Would you like me to break your siege for you? Because I feel like stomping on a certain little Friesland. He didn't make me a french fry. Oh, that's the wrong one. Nope, nope, crap, crap. That was the wrong stack. All right. Well, it's fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. There we go. All right, that's all I needed from you, Utrecht. Thank you for your, gosh darn it. Thank you for your help, you have been most accommodating. Cancel that military access. Let's drop a siege. Nope, group, drop. And head up to, no, I don't want to do that. Gelray, will you give me military access? You will, thank you. Um, nope. And no. There we go. Now we'll walk up to Friesland. We will simply walk up there and we will siege them down. Call allies to wars. I can, oh, I can bring Flanders into my war. A little late. I could, however, just bring him in and maybe get an extra boost in my relationship with him. Or I could not. I don't know. Let's see. 175. Still have a bit of aggressive expansion that's causing some trouble for me. And you still think that it's not worth vassalizing because of a Scottish economic base. See, I can't understand how they calculate that. So are they saying that my economic base is not large enough to justify vassalizing them? Or are they saying that we're too small to be vassalized by someone quite so large? I am confused by that. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Oh, there's another fort by Brabant that I totally forgot about. That's fine. We'll just bring you guys together. Um, hmm... Let's split this army in half and send these guys down and we will go and stomp on Brabant. Hey Brabant, remember how you were allied to England? Yeah, that was a dumb move. Goodbye. And now we'll just siege down the rest of your provinces. Awesome, I'm gonna steal all your money. Grumble, grumble, France taking Cornwall. I should never have allowed you to get over to the English Channel. This is what I get. By the way, I did review the footage from last video. I know full well why, why France got called in. When I wanted to declare war on England and I switched to a different war goal, it brought the check mark back on France. I don't know why it does that. If I uncheck it and I change my which, uh, which war goal I'm going after, I don't want to call in freaking France. But they didn't get the hint. So, now I'm stuck with what I got. We can get the next round of quantity ideas. And since I'm still ahead of time on military tech, I think that is a reasonable thing to do. There we go. Land maintenance modifier, so that should save me a bit of money. Um, ooh, next idea, we'll get some extra naval force limit. That would be awesome. Either way, we'll just uh, casually siege down all of England's allies. Calais is now officially finished. Oh, you better believe I'm not giving that to you, France. Screw you. Screw you, man. Next time I go to war with England, I'm not bringing you in at all. I'm taking, I am taking Cornwall, and I'm probably going to take Calais, the rest of Burgundy, annex Flanders, and Holland. At least that's my long-term plans. I really, really want Holland. This is such an important province if you want to control the English trade node. So important. Oh, hello, little Friesland. It's fine. You can, you can sit on Oldenburg if you want. I don't mind. I don't think you're actually seizing it down, because it's a capital fort. And you only have one unit. But I'll let you waste your time and take attrition anyway. It's fine with me. No skin off my back. Do what you want. Do what you want. Okay, too many diplomatic relations. Yes, that's because I have military access, which I don't want to cancel with Gelray quite yet. Local fortification expert discovered. Gain a military engineer or gain local defensiveness on London until the end of the game. 
Really? I don't... Um, what does a military engineer do again? I mean, I'm pretty happy with my national manpower modifier. Nah, I'll let him stay home. We'll just enjoy a little bit of extra defensiveness in London until the end of the game. No one's taking that province down, I'll tell you what. Um, France. I don't know why you are blockading in... Helgoland Bite? Helg Helgoland Bite? I don't know how that works. Why aren't you sitting on the coast of Holland? It looks to me like that's where uh, Friesland's dock is, but it says you're blockading something. So my question is, are you involved in a second war? You're not. So apparently I'm misreading this, and... The dock of Friesland is in Helgoland Bight? What? I don't think I'm misreading that, but fine. Alright, we siege down Brabant successfully. Let's go ahead and start bringing the troops home. Shouldn't be a problem for us. France, you finally decided to get over here. That's so kind of you, with your 27 stack with massive attrition. Dummy France. Good grief. You're gonna make me suffer attrition. No, I got out of there in time. Thank God. Alright. Friesland. We're done with you, I think. We are done with you. So, let's sue for peace. How much money you got? 89 ducats. It's nothing. I could actually just full annex you, but that would upset the entire Holy Roman Empire. Not interested. How about we take war reparations... Force you to give up your claims in Munster, and break all your treaties. That will get us a fair amount of prestige, and that's about everything I can possibly take from Friesland, so that will be good enough for me. There we go. <clears throat> Gelray, you have been very, very generous with your military access, and I am appreciative, but I think it is time to terminate that relationship. Now all we need to do is siege down Brabant, and we're out of here. Let's go ahead and transfer the troops back up to Kent. In the meantime, I am sitting on a fair chunk of money that I didn't even realize I had. Um, <laughs> marketplaces. No, none of those interest me. I guess we'll build one here just because meh, it's actually worth something. Um, barracks? Nope. Nope. Mm, eh, 375, meh. Temple? 0.2. You know what I'd rather do, I think? I'd rather start training up some mortars. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's do that. Train up some extra cannons. Get ourselves up to the top of our force limit. Oh! Norway is no longer a valid rival, you say? Looks like Sweden decided to eat another chunk out of Norway. I didn't even realize you guys were at war. Sweden, once again, is opportunistic, and I hate them for it, but they will make a valuable ally so long as they don't decide to get involved with crushing me and taking me out of Scandinavia. Nope. We will deal with you ourselves. Hey, France! Thank you for dealing with those uh, peasants before they became a problem for me. All right. Brabant. Let's get our troops out of here through Flanders, and then we will be done. Actually, I could just black flag them, I guess. It technically doesn't matter. Eh, all right. So. Brabant. What do you have for me? You have 116 ducats. It's actually worth something. Um, release nations, not an option. We'll make you annul all your treaties. We'll make you give us war reparations. We'll make you give up claims throughout the Holy Roman Empire. Just because... Oh, that's too much. The extra prestige is nice. That's why we would do these things. Um, <laughs> Nine? Is that the best we can do? What if I didn't make you annul a treaty with England and made you give up a claim? Is that worth more? It is. It's actually worth 10, and we get a little bit closer to our goal. So let's make you annul treaties with England, yes, but not Luxembourg. Who's Luxembourg? I don't know, and I don't care. We'll do that. That seems reasonable. Take a little extra money. And extra prestige. There. Up to 66 prestige. And we're almost halfway with our legitimacy, too, which is just fantastic. So, yeah, let's get all of our troops up to Kent. Wait, wait, what are you... No, no, no. No, just... Just go this way, it's fine. Alright, England. We are at 100% with you. I'm probably gonna take... Well, what should we What should we take, actually? Let's just consider all this, shall we? So, Cornwall's not an option for us. Uh, we could give back Gascon. That's worth 25 war score. I could just give him Calais, but I really don't want to. Aw, oh, man. 25 of my beautiful war score is going to be given over to France. Screw you, France. All right, we'll take these. It seems reasonable, and that'll bring them down to four provi five provinces, plus a vassal. 
I could make them cancel their subject of Cornwall. It's worth a bit. It costs a little bit of Diplo points, unfortunately. Uh, can I humiliate you as well? No. What if I didn't take Wessex? Yes. That's worth power projection. I'm gonna need it. Hmm. Hmm. 13. 15 development. That's 18 war score. That's 15 war score. So we're looking at 33 lost war score as far as full annexation is concerned. That'll bring them down. Okay. And this is worth how much? 25 war score. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So we're up to 58, minus 58 war score if we just take those three provinces, but that's not enough to actually get them to a position where we would be able to annex, uh, vassalize them in the next war. Which is unfortunate, because it means I kind of can't humiliate them. I have to take another one. Aw, man. Boo! Boo! Hmm. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, no, 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 okay. Once I take all of these provinces, I will get them to a point where I would be able to... S okay, hang on. So... Total... Okay, yeah. Yeah, so if I don't take Wessex, then I don't put them in range of being able to be annexed next time. All right, uh... Can make you cancel your subject over Cornwall. I don't think I can vassalize you if you have subjects of your own, so that actually is okay. Uh, France will be in the same treaty I am, so they shouldn't be able to do anything to Cornwall. I hope I'm not screwing that up. War reparations and some money. 128 ducats. So we will take three provinces for ourselves. We'll make France happy. So that they stop causing this issue. Because the thing is, if I don't give them... I don't want to feed the big blue blob, but if I don't give them Gascon, I will be adding on another modifier that I did not give them a core in a war. And their relations with me will dip so low, I think we'll be in trouble. And I kind of want to have France on my side, if for nothing else, and they provide a very good defensive blanket for me. So, I'm going to have to accept that. But I am dang well not happy about it. So we'll get three provinces of our own. Cornwall will be free. War reparations, chunk of money. It's going to cost me 66 Diplo power to do this. Uh, we'll get a little bit of aggressive expansion. Um, how much power projection? We only get 18 power projection out of this, but that'll, that'll tide me over for a while, I think. I think this is the best deal we're going to get. It's not the best deal I've ever seen, but because France decided to make things complicated and they can't take Cornwall and I have to give them a province then this is going to have to be enough. Gosh darn it. I'm really upset, actually, Paradox, that because uh, I switched my war goal, you automatically screwed me over with bringing France in. I didn't want you to automatically do that. All right, well, that takes care of that. Lancashire, or Lan... You know what? Screw this. Screw this. We're not calling this any that anymore. You are Lancaster. There. Never having this issue with you again. In fact, you know what? I'm taking the sure Shire off of all this stuff. I don't want to deal with this anymore. York. Lincoln. Uh, I can't change any others. Fine. At least I don't have to say the darn stuff anymore. And no, not Aberdeen sure. Where did the Shures even come from anyway? Why did that become a thing? Alright. Well, that's another war done. Done and over with. So, uh, let's go ahead and make some cores. It's going to cost me a chunk of admin power, but I had a lot to deal with this, apparently. Incorporate cannot into our country or remove Cornwall from the map. Well, I have a truce with you now, don't I? Yes. For another 15 years, I can't do anything. But you also have a truce with France, which means they can't do anything to you either. So I call that good. That's plenty of time for us to get Kanat. What about legitimacy 100? That's not going to happen anytime soon. So yeah, let's incorporate Kanat into our country as our mission, and I need 190 opinion, which for some reason I don't have. Wait, why did I go down to 155? What happened? 
Why did I lose relations with Kanat? All right. Well, maybe they'll have to wait for a little bit longer, but in the meantime, we need, still need to get all of our forces over into our territory. English separatists, of course, are going to be a problem. Because I'm overextended, I have a little bit of trouble with Norwegian separatists too, but we'll take care of our overextension before that's actually an issue. So it's just these new provinces that will be a problem for me. Once we finish integrating Connaught and annexing them, all of this territory will also belong to Scotland. And we'll actually be well on our way to forming Britain fairly early. It's only 1504. Yeah, I don't know about this. England is uh, England's pretty weak. It's only going to take 85 war score in order to fully vassalize them or fully annex them at this point. That's a thought. I actually could just skip the vassalization process and just full out annex them, but uh, I don't know if that's the best choice because I believe if I form the British nation diplomatically, which means I need to... Yep, England needs to be a vassal of me. Uh, I inherit England. Does that mean I inherit the cores, though? That's the new question. I don't actually know how that works. Would I still have to core them, or would they automatically become in part of Great Britain? I inherit them, I inherit their cores, and that's not an issue. Not really sure, but I would be curious. Alright. Alright. Well, let's just keep things topped off nicely with Flanders, and let's send a diplomatic insult to Provence. We're up to 82 power projection. That should tie me over for a good long while. And I'm feeling pretty good. That's going to be enough for this episode, though. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Promise with EU4 Common Sense. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.